on the way on Titans All Access this week. The Titans are hitting the road again, and this time to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Dave McGinnis is here to take us beneath the surface to discuss two of their biggest offensive weapons. Plus, outside linebacker Arden Key gives us a behind-the-scenes look at the team's photo day and a two-part conversation with 22. Derek Henry talks leadership and a lot more in this week's Nissan Insider. All of that and much, much more right now on Titans All Access. But there he is, the Yuli Bulldozer, Derek Henry. Got Chris Moore. Can he catch it? No, what a no. catch! Will Levis, Levis to Hopkins. No. Big chip. Fires up the intercept of Adi Hooker. There's Hopkins making the catch. Welcome to Titans All Access in the Bet MGM studio. I'm Mike Keith with my Titans radio broadcast partner, Coach Dave McGinnis. Welcome. I'm wearing Titans radio shirt. That's Mike right. Keith. Well done. That, that you gave me. Well, I did. Thank you. You're well, very kind. I wanted you to have a Titans radio shirt. I got it. Let's I'm go. I'm glad you do. Okay. So <laughs> as we get to the news of the week, you know what that is. Mike Vrabel naming Will Levis as the starting quarterback. Did that surprise you that he came out on Tuesday and immediately shared that news? Not at all. And we talked last week. He told you what he was going to is going to have an answer for you on Tuesday. And so, so what he did, he met with the coaches, he met with the general manager, he met with all parties involved that have that have a say in the issue, and then he made a decision and went forward. Former as being a former head coach, you make those decisions. You talk to the the principals involved, which which was Ryan Tannehill. Talk to your team, and then you go to work. The Titans are going to need some offense this week playing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield's the quarterback, and he's having a nice year, but, man, he's got two outstanding targets in Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Well, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, I mean, they're, they're big-time producers. They're big-time producers in possession downs, and they're also big-time producers down the field. Now, Mike Evans has been doing it for 10 years. He has not had one drop-off, and he's still able to outrun people, Mike. And then Godwin is a nice compliment. And plus, this quarterback is a dealer. This quarterback is a dealer and has got enough arm to get it to him, all parts of the field. Okay, let's go beneath the surface, powered by Microsoft, and take a look at these wide receivers. I want to start with Mike Evans, who you mentioned is in his 10th year, but he's still just 30 years old, and he can run. There's Mike Evans there. They are in 12 personnel, which is two tights. That's a tight end. That's a tight end. There's Godwin up there at the top. So they've got a max protect look. They're lined up now. They've got a single high safety. This single high safety back here indicates to the quarterback they're in man-to-man. -man. And so we talked about his ability. You can see this corner is playing off. This corner's got a lot of distance, you know, between he and Evans right now. I want you to watch and watch Evans eat up stripes and then make a nice catch. Watch him eat up stripes, eat up stripes, runs right by him. Watch this throw. This throw is right on the money. Now, this was not called a touchdown. He was down at the one foot line, but this, this illustrates exactly what we're talking about. The other thing I want to do is show you this. We talked about the max protection. So the blocking aspect of it, they've got 12 personnel. Look at the wall they set up because they know they're in single high safety. They're going to need room for him to run. So here we go. Great protection, great throw. This is what you get with Mike Evans, and he's been doing it for 10 solid years. And all he is is 6'5", 230 as well. This is a great view to watch him run by this corner. And, you know, corners are some of the fastest players on the field. Doesn't matter to Mike Evans. And then again, I talk about the pocket, but look, the quarterback is cleaning the pocket, steps up, downfield throw. We've got it. We cannot let them have explosives like this, Mike. It goes without saying they cannot have explosives like this. Play two, we're going to see Chris Godwin. They're three by one, three by one. This is 11 personnel. All of these people are all up right here. This is a simulated pressure look. They can bring four, they can bring five, they can bring six. Okay, what we're going to get is a three-layered route out of this. He's going to run a sail route, and the other ones are going to clear out for him. So watch the route as he comes, a three-layered route. Let's stop it right here. You see the three-layered route? You've got a crosser. You've got a, a deep post. Here's Godwin over here. Is he open, Mike? He's very open. He's coach. wide open, okay? So they're going to show you a lot of different looks, but again, watch him run with it after the catch. 
Both of these guys are big receivers, Mike. They're running after the catch. They've got an offense that does a very nice job of, of setting them up protection-wise. This quarterback, again, has a really good pocket to step up in. Three-layered route, sail route. Now watch him run. These guys, we have got to be able to keep from having explosive plays on us, Mike. This is going to be big, big, big for this ball game. And Baker Mayfield likes to take shots too, Coach. Coach Mack taking us beneath the surface, powered by Microsoft. Thank you for doing that. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks for the shirt. You're very welcome. Thank you. I've got another one for you. Thank you. Long sleeve. <laughs> Won't need it in Tampa. <laughs> Derrick Henry will be in Tampa this weekend. He'll also be on Titans All Access in our Nissan Insider next. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Bet MGM studio and Titans All Access. Time for our Nissan Insider, and it's very special. It's Derrick Henry, who in year eight continues to do Derrick Henry things. He has just a little over 600 yards rushing, good for fifth in the NFL. He's caught 165 yards worth of passes. He scored four touchdowns. But what's more impressive about Derrick Henry, to me at least, is the way he's becoming more and more of a leader in the Titans locker room. He discusses that and a lot more with our Amy Wells in part one of the Nissan Insider. your leadership style and how it's evolved throughout your time with the Tennessee Titans? Yeah, I'm more of a uh, show you how I work uh, type of leader. I can be vocal when I need to be, um, and when it's time to be. And I think the more experience you get throughout the years, the more you evolve as a leader, um, as a player, and um, trying to be a better teammate as possible to bring the best out of your teammates. <laughs> How much has leadership helped guide this team through maybe some of the valleys? Leadership uh, builds culture, so everyone knows the, the standard and how we want to play. Um, each and every Sunday, how, how, how we want to work when we're out on the field, in the weight room, and then attention to detail um, in the film room, letting the transition. So I think leadership, you know, set the standards for everybody. You're a guy who, because of your performance on the field, guys naturally, it seems, gravitate to you and kind of follow your lead. Is that something you had to learn how to manage and kind of understand throughout your playing career? You know, coming up, uh, playing football, freshman, you know, watching the seniors, and through high school, and then going to college being a freshman, and then getting older, and going to be a junior, uh, being one of the leaders, and it starts when you get to the league, and you just watch the older guys, the vets, and see how they work, and then when your time comes, um, you, you you do the things that you were taught you know, throughout the years, and as a transition to, to your leadership to be able to help younger guys as well. Who are some of the leaders on this team for Derrick Henry? Yeah, I was like Big Jeff, Jeff Simmons. Start with us, bro. Sure. Start with us. Communicate, have fun. Man, you're that rock, man. I'm him, man. I'm him. I'm him. DeAndre, who's been a, 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 been a, been a, a great player and a, a big bet. Levis looking to throw it. Throws deep downfield. There's Hopkins all alone. 20, 15, 10, 5, in zone. Ladies and gentlemen, give him 61 yards. Touchdown, Titans. Having Arden Key come here, bring energy. Ah! Having disease and bringing that uh, type of playing style and leadership here. Hey, right here, this is our moment. This is the funniest moment in the game. Who gonna be the one to make the play? Yeah, I think we got a group, group of guys that um, are, are great leaders that bring energy and a lot of, a lot of guys on the team feed off of. When you're in the running backs room, you're working with younger guys, you're working with guys who are kind of in the mid-range of their career. How do you manage wanting to mentor and helping guys, but also recognizing the reality that there's only so many spots to go around? Yeah, just trying to be a resource to them as possible and um, trying to help them in any way possible for everything I've learned. 
to help him grow, be a, be a great teammate, and also push him to compete. Lead by how, how I work, and then lead by you know trying to help and teach and do anything I can possibly to help make them better. More Nissan Insider with Derek Henry and Amy Wells coming up later in this edition of Titans All Access. But up next, listen up with Duncan. It's Arden Key, outside linebacker, wired at the squad's team picture. On the surface, it doesn't sound wild, but it got that way with Arden. Stay tuned. Play fake, blitz coming, Levis throws, juggled and caught by Henry, he's got room. 45-40, 35-30, and he is taken down at the 25-yard line by Roberts. What a job by Levis to get rid of it, and then Henry stayed with a pass that was on him way too fast, with way too much heat. He juggled it, caught it, and regained his equilibrium to go 23 yards. This is Stadium in 60. A quick update on the Titans' new stadium. A top goal of the new Titans stadium is that every one of the 60,000-plus seats has a great sideline. Every single one. This has been the focus of every discussion since the process started. I think that comes from the, the skill of our designers and uh, a really intentional thought process around the actual bowl geometry, as we call it. Um, basically trying to maximize every inch of the playing field that we can bring the, the seating close to. Ultimately looking at how the, the stadium curves around and hugs the field, we're making sure that we're bringing that as close as we can. And overall the geometry makes it so that when you look at Nissan today, the sidelines are completely straight. So if you're looking in your seat, you have to turn your head to kind of catch the play, but the, the seating bowl is curved in a, a way that you're mainly focused on the field at all times. And then I'd say secondly, one of the other things that I think that makes this stadium uh, just light years ahead of Nissan, uh, the 300 level, which still great views, half of that upper bowl actually walks down to their seat instead of walking up. For the latest news, visit titansnewstadium.com. Every year in late October, early November, the Titans get together and they take a team picture that will be the historical record, photo-wise, of the club for the 2023 season. Well, they did this just a few days ago, and it can get a little crazy because you have all of these people going in all different directions and at one moment at least being told to behave. Could Arden Key do any of that? We weren't so sure, which is why we asked him to wear a mic and we present it as Listen Up with Duncan Arden Key. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't say no, I'm mic'd up. Who gives a f because you mic'd up? Then that, now you're finna get smacked for real because you mic'd up. How about that? Oh, you mic'd up for real? Hey, my mama wasn't like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm all the way in. Hold on, this 50. Oh, yeah. Going right behind you, Arden. I'm right here. I know, I'm right behind you. Oh. You gotta get all the way to the top. Yeah, 97. Star. Ah. You gotta walk. Come on through. Bro, this is scary, bro. You ain't even that high. You look like that. I ain't got nothing to do with me. That's a lot of weight on top. <laughs> I'm going slide to the side. He. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, y'all look good, but I'm trying to tell you. How's my hair look, AK? Huh? Get your right. You good. Right. You good. You good. <laughs> but you look good, Les. Everybody jump on. You got a microphone on? Yeah, a little mic. I was wondering who this camera was following. Yeah, what? Man of the hour. Oh, no. Oh, I'm a goner. <laughs> DB, CD, DVD. Got what you need, Willie. How we doing there? DB's already. D-line, OLB, OLB, inside. We next. We next. Oh, God, we next. Oh, yeah. All oh, you need is two clicks. We gone. All right, let's go, y'all. Come on. Come on. I told everybody. Oh, that's crazy. You a fan. I know. Who next? Who next? Who next? Oh, God, y'all not next. <laughs> you melted that. That's you, man. You bit that. Oh. I know. Your mother 
They was scared as shit. Damn, why we can't be with the D-line? I ain't never took no outside linebacker picture. I was always with D-line. Woo! If we play a five and a four out, we D-line, ain't it? <laughs> Y'all ready to go next? Hey, what time it is? Oh, we are according to my time. It's time to go. Ah, oh, let's go, go. We next? Oh, we supposed to still have that walk through? Damn, I thought we were supposed to go to the crib right now. Click, 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 go. Let's go, let's go. Nick, Nick, hey, Rook. hurry up. Hey, Rook, 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 you in the front. Rook, Tommy said. Yeah. We out, we out. Thank you, Arden Key, for a very special Listen Up with Duncan. Nissan Insider Part 2 when we come back. Amy Wells and Derek Henry on Titans All Access. Stay tuned. It's time for the Hughes and Coleman Decision of the Week. More playing time for Kyle Phillips seems to be an excellent decision. The second-year wideout from UCLA responded with three catches for 24 yards against Atlanta and then four catches for 68 yards at Pittsburgh. Included in his four catches against the Steelers were grabs of 25 and 21 yards, helping lead the Titans to a score. The decision to give more snaps to Kyle Phillips is this week's decision of the week, presented by Hughes and Coleman. Welcome back to Titans All Access. Now time for part two of our Nissan Insider, Amy Wells with the great Derrick Henry. And when you are a great running back, as number 22 is, you are part of a very special fraternity. Derrick Henry clearly values that and enjoys every part of it. He discusses that and more with Amy Wells in part two of the Nissan Insider. Henry on his right hip. Going to give Henry a chance on the left side. Here he goes, the big man. To the 25, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, the king. Touchdown, Titans. Yes, yes! No, that's not a yes. Hell yes! You're not just a leader within the four walls of Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park, though. You're also a leader within the National Football League. There are a lot of guys around this league that look to you as someone who can help them achieve what they want to do in this league, which is have some real attention. Um, is that a role that you've embraced helping guys not only within the Tennessee Titans, but within the National Football League? Yeah, I think it's always great to have fellowship with um, other great players around the league, and it's always a good time to pick your brain when you're around guys like um, like the Pro Bowl and, and things like that, and just to hear their perspective, and it's always cool to have that fellowship with guys around the league who are great players and also great people. There's really no one else who understands what your day-to-day -day is like and what your world is like than other running backs in the league, right? There's got to be some camaraderie there. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we all have a different playing style, so at the end of the day, it's all about running hard, making guys miss. One cut runs, being physical, um, being out, being able to outrun your opponent. So a lot of similarities in, in, in how we train, so we understand the position. You're also so present in the community, not only in Nashville, but in Uly, that not only do you want to help guys within the organization, not only do you want to help other running backs, but you also want to help the communities that have given you so much. When you have this platform, you got to use it um, as much as possible. You know, it's a blessing to be in the spot that I am and you know, other guys being able to play in the league and um, live their dream. And to be blessed, I think you should um, consider blessing others. In year eight, you've done a lot of stuff to get your body where you want it to be. You've learned a lot about maintaining um, how to adjust throughout a season. What is there left for Derrick Henry to tweak? I feel like there's always room for improvement each and every year, and that's what I try to focus on. I try to be better than the year before, um, elevate your game to another level um, year after year, and I'll always be my focus, no matter if I'm at the top or I'm at the bottom. You know, there's always a growth mindset, it's being the best that I can each and every year and being better than the year before. Do you still have things to prove? I still have a lot, a lot to prove, and that's uh, always be in my mind, always uh, fuel me. I never say it, but I go out there and try to showcase by the way I go out there and play how I work. When we come back, it's time for my Seat Geek Keys to Victory. Those are next on Titans All Access. 
Titans All Access continues from the Bet MGM studio. It's time for my Seat Geek Keys to the Titans knocking off the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Sunday. The first one, know where Rashad White and Cade Auten are at all times. White is a second year running back who averages 21 touches per game. He can run it and he can catch it. Cade Auten is a second year tight end who has 28 total catches and three touchdowns. He had two last week. Now, you know how dangerous Mike Evans and Chris Godwin are, but you also have to keep up with Rashad White and Cade Auten. Key number two, nose tackle Vita Vea is priority one because he's 6'4 and weighs 347 pounds. But you also have to keep up with the outside linebackers for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Shaq Barrett and Joe Tryon Shayanika are both outstanding pass rushers. The defensive line as a whole for the Bucs are really, really good, and they take up a lot of space, giving the two outside linebackers and even some of their backups at the spot a real chance to rush the passer. You gotta block the outside guys and not just be worried about Vita Vea and the inside guys. And finally, find a way to win the fourth quarter. Sounds simple enough, but the Titans have been outscored 50 to 23 in fourth quarters this year. Had they won the fourth quarter in Pittsburgh, they would have won the ball game. This one figures to come down to the fourth quarter again. The Titans need to find a way to play their best football in the final 15 minutes so they can leave Raymond James Stadium four and five on the season. We'll remind you that it's the Titans and the Bucks coming up this Sunday from Tampa. Titans Radio is on the air at 11 a.m. Central Time with Titans Countdown. Kickoff set for 12.02 Central. It's the Titans and the Bucks. Baker Mayfield against Will Levis in Florida this week. For our fine staff, Mike Keith says thank you for watching Titans All Access, and we'll see you next time.